Welcome to the Route 3 BizCast. I'm joined by the leadership team at Stroudwater Associates, a healthcare consulting firm that specializes in rural and community hospitals. Um, Eric Schell, Jeff Summer, thanks for being here. Tell me quickly, in the best of times, rural and community hospitals have their challenges. How is it working during COVID-19? Overall, what we've seen is that um, the, the, the volume, the overall volume um, services decline anywhere from 50 to 70 percent, primarily the elective surgeries, the physician practice visits, um, which is which will have a significant impact, negative impact on cash. Yeah, it's it, what's been awe-inspiring is is the interaction and conversations we've been having with folks on the front line. That our role for 35 years has been to support and work with community and rural hospitals, help them formulate strategy, execute strategy, help them um, uh, implement and execute on operational change. Eric, you've laid out your response to kind of urgent, intermediate, and long-term tactics um, for hospitals. Um, you're in the war room with, the, with these hospitals. What makes it an urgent tactic right now? I continue to think that having the CEOs understand where their cash position is going to be for the next 26 weeks, um, factoring in the decline in volume, increases in possible Medicare rates for critical access hospitals if they submit interim cost reports, impacts of the CARES Act, uh, the accelerated Medicare payments, all of these, when we build them into a 26 week cash forecast, the CEOs should be able to sleep better through this without having to make draconian cuts that not only will hurt them during the response, but also the recovery. What you're known for in the market is really bringing um, speed and ROI to any project that you're working on. How important is that today? That is absolutely critical. Um, the, the, the need for whatever type of positive cash infusion uh, the rural hospitals have access to um, that may that they may not ha have awareness of um, is is essential. But also really start to think from a strategy perspective, how do they position themselves? How, how do they re-envision themselves to be sustainable so that they can be there for their communities and really come up with a set of solutions that are very focused in terms of duration and very focused and frankly in terms of cost so that that, that return on investment the improvement of cash flow, as Eric alluded to, is tangible and realized in a, in a very short time frame. Um, in, in addition, the sun will come out six months from now, and and anything that we can do now to enhance cash in the short term will will have an effect in the medium and in the longer term. In which eventually we're going to get back to planning. We're going to get back to having conversations around value-based payment and strategy. Um, um, but right now, the imperative is around immediate ROI on different types of projects uh, and then intermediate ROI. If there is a silver lining out of this longer term in, ter term in terms of policy, it will be to reflect on the healthcare delivery system, not as this cost burden or solely a cost burden of society, but really as a necessary set of resources um, you know, in the what if scenario that, that is occurring right now. And, and specifically, I heard um, last Friday about a community in the West that had been planning to build a, a hospital in their in their community for several years um, and hadn't, they were in planning stages. And now with the pandemic, they see that as an absolute priority that they are going to come together as a community and get, a, get their rural hospital built. Jeff, Eric, thanks for your time. Uh, keep up the great work, everything you're doing. Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Scott.